that. So David, David, you has you you asked a question. I'm I'm trying to explain to clear your doubts. Wonderful. Now, okay. Um, Feromi and Joshua, please listen carefully so that you will see the difference between a, a block. Remember I say that um, this is global because it is available everywhere. This is local because it is within this block of code. And this also is local because it is within this function scope. But we call this one function scope and we call this one block block scope. Now, you can see if I run it again, you can see I am printing the value of X here, right? And the value is two. Here, globally, X was set to six. But because this is a blo uh, block scope, right? I am able to reassign, in fact, not just reassign, I'm able to um, redeclare and reassign two to that value of X. But when it comes to function scope, I could not, because not that I couldn't, I am able to assign four to X, right? But it is within this function scope. It has no impact on this global variable X. It's, it is like this variable X is on its own world. Its own is within its own ecosystem. Whereas the, the the declaration I made here, both declaration and initialization I made here, I am able to change the value of this global scope. That is a major difference between block scope and function scope. Now, if you think that probably because the program is executing from top to down, and because um, this this got executed first, fine. Let me let me assume that this executed first. But hello, we came here, right? Nothing happened except that we did not call it, right? So now let us call it. Hmm? and see what will happen. Let's call it, let's call that function here, i. So I'm just calling it, right? And now once I call, this will be executed and this will, will now be initialized, right? So let us run it and see what we have you can see that it is still two. No matter what, this got executed, yet it, it did not change the value of the global variable X. Now, just to prove that this actually executed, I'm going to put a console.log here, console.log X. I want to print the value of X that is within, within this function. I'm going to run it. You can see now, because I called it here, it executed everything here. So I'm able to print this for, but at the, at the end here, the value of X outside this function scope is still two this global variable because this block scope actually had an effect on the global variable. And that is the more reason why, why they now 
created another way, sorry, another way of declaring variable. Let's say this is let, and this is let. And this is also let. Let's see what happened. Let me comment. Okay, let me just for now comment this one out. I'm going to run it. You can see that the value is six, which is this global variable. Now, what is the let keyword doing? Let keyword is kind of um, separating concern. So you can see now that even though this x is the value is changed within this block scope, it does not affect the global scope. And this also has no effect on the global scope. Let, let, let me even run it. Let me now call this and run it again. You can see this value is still four. This value is six. But now let us print out the value of X within, within this, within the, the block scope. So if I run it, Sorry, my system is sluggish tonight because of what I'm running on the, on, on the background. So now you can see this got printed out, which is two. This got printed out, which is four. And this last one, which is a global variable, got printed out six. Is there any question? I want answers. Or oh, am I not audible? No, sir. Uh huh. No, sir. Please, when I ask question, please respond. No, sir. That is, oh, uh, that is um, an evidence yeah. to me that yeah. um, I'm not talking to myself. So, Joshua, do you have a question? Um, no, sir. my internet is sometimes unstable. So, there's some parts that you can't off and some parts that. Okay, my network um, is unstable. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm I'm so sorry about that. No, my my network. Okay, okay. Your network. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. So, uh, but um, the the recording will be there anyway. But do you have any question? Uh, is there any part you missed? No question. Okay. Now you can see the difference between that block scope and function scope right now and also i've shown you the difference between the var keyword and the let keyword although i i have I, I, um i've lectured on this in time past but now what about the const what is the difference you see this const you cannot redeclare really a variable that you have already declared with a const keyword. Now, you can see in this case that I'm able, let me, I can say, let x again be 10, for example. I can redeclare. If I run it, oh, X is already already been declared. Okay, fine. The let keyword also did, does not allow you, but I can reassign. Let me let me reassign. But in var var we we allow you to redeclare. I, I I will go back to I will go back to that shortly. So if I run it, you can see the value of ten. But if I use var here, for example var x is 6, then I now do var x is 10. Var we allow, we allow that redeclaration, as you can see right here. So x is what? 
10 right here because I, I, I am able to redeclare using vacuum. But let and const will not allow you to redeclare a variable just as we saw earlier on. If I change the var to let, you will see it will give an error that identifier x if the variable has already been declared. So which simply means I cannot use the let keyword to declare the same variable again. But var keyword, you can, you can. And that is the more reason why the var keyword is being taken out of best practice. So that uh, the var keyword has caused many bugs in programming in time past. But what about the const? The const will not allow you to reassign any variable you have already declared and assigned. Now I'm trying to have I've declared x and I'm, I'm, I'm assigning 6 to it. If I now again I'm trying to reassign 10 to it. If I run it, you can see assignment to a constant variable is, is, is an error. So I cannot reassign. And I, I, I can't even redeclare. I don't think so. Let me see. If I run it, you can see identifier X has already been declared because of the word of the const keyword. But at the same time, if I if, if, if had, had it been it is left here, I can reassign here, but const will not allow me to reassign, as you can see. So that's all. Oh, let me see. Those are the differences between the var, let, and const, and also the global scope, block scope, function scope. Somebody is, uh, I don't know why I am not, hey, okay, 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 um, that's people. But I hope you are listening to the lecture anyway. So now, Alvin, re explained global scope block scope function scope and the var and the let and const keyword i think we can now go into the this keyword because understanding of scope matters when it comes to this keyword so what is this keyword David, what is this keyword? This keyword is just um like a keyword in programming language. You can use to access like any function, something like that. I, I don't know how to, like how best to, how, how best to define it. If you but don't... let's say you have okay. Let me give you an instance. Let me say you have a um, an array, and you want to loop through. Let's say you want to use something like get elements, and you are you are targeting an array. So for you to access each of those each of those elements in the array, you will get. So this keyword is actually useful in that sense. I, I like. I don't know how to define it, but. Mm -mm. No, I, I I disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one thing about not before I go, I move on. Do you understand the difference between block scope and functional scope now? Yes, I did. I, I, I do. Sorry. Okay, so they are different. They, they we have differences, but they are similar. Similar in the sense yeah. that they are both local variables. Okay. Now having cleared that. Uh, here, there. Before I go into the lecture of this, if you are not able to explain something to another person, just know that you don't know that thing yet. I repeat, I want everybody to listen carefully. If you want to test your understanding of a concept or a topic, 
or a subject, go and explain to somebody. If you are not able to explain to that person, you have not understood that, that topic or subject or concept yet. Take it for me as a teacher. So, I haven't given that background. Let me paint some scenario. You see, the, this, the, this keyword is actually an object. We have discussed object before, right? Yes, this sir. is an object. If you want me to prove it to you, I will. You've proved it already. I no, mean, one of these classes. No, I will, I will, I will again. Okay. It's for others to, to learn from. I'm, I'm only going to print the disk keyword. Let's see what it's going to give us, whether I'm right or wrong. I mean, I'm, I may be wrong. I'm not uh, perfect in knowledge, right? So, is there any other line of code apart from this console.log? This? Is there any? I want answers. No. Good. No, I'm, I'm now running. What is it printing? It's, it's printing the window. And what is the window? It is an object. How do I know it is an object? Um, Joshua, how do I know? Joshua, are you there? Joshua, talk to me. Sir. Okay, you are there. Good. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, you can see that I just printed what the this is. And the result is what a window. And I said that we, the, the, this is an object. Now, that which simply means that window is an object. So how do I know that this window, this window here, this window that, that got printed out, how do I know it is an object? That's my question. Wait, could you repeat that? Okay, I will repeat. The... My question is, I said that the window, this window that got printed out, which is simply that in, in this context, this context, in this context, right? The this key, this this keyword is window. Window object. And I said earlier on that this is an object, right? And when Wait. I console.log this, just, just listen. When I console.log this, I got window and I said it is an object. Now, my question is looking at this window that got printed out here. How can you tell that it is an it, it is truly an object? Looking at this print out here, how is this an object? What makes you what 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 is that thing that you that you you you, you are looking out for that we depict that this thing is called an object? What is that thing? I guess because of the I'm not asking level. you. I'm asking Joshua. Sorry. Joshua. Um, I think it really shows um is a you are not audible. Can you speak louder? Okay, come on. Do you know, yes or no? Um, no. No. Uh, no. It's, it's a yes or no answer. Do you know? Yes, I know. 
No, I don't know. Do you know? I'm asking no. again. No. Feromi, do you know the answer no. to my question? Feromi. Um, I think it's because of the um brackets. Which brackets? The bracket and the brackets surrounding this. This bracket. Yes. No, that is not the reason. Now, David, back to you. Yeah, I guess because of the um, properties and values inside the um, the quality braces. No, it's not because of the properties and value. I'll I be, I'll be prove it to you. Hold on. So my size because of is... the curly brackets. Thank the curly you. Brackets. That is what I want to hear. Simple. It's because of this curly bracket. Okay. Okay. This is object. We have treated this many times and i've asked this question many times this same question i've asked many times the moment you see this curly bracket this curly bracket you know whatever this is assigned to maybe a uh, windows whatever makes this curly bracket makes this an object object it is not an array if it is an array it will be a square bracket square bracket please always be vigilant to these nuances five minutes to we, we cannot go beyond this so we will continue on tuesday with this keyword because apparently i can see that um Although I see have five 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 more minutes, but I, let me just do something. So I can see that you uh, you see do not have in depth knowledge of it. So now I want you to note something that the value of this object depends depends on its context i mentioned this earlier on context it is it depends on where it is used now it is used here just in this window this window you can see this is a window a browser window and that is why this is referred to <coughs> that window object. Everything inside this browser is belong to the window object. Even if I declare ordinary variable, say name, let's say um, let name equal James and I I print it out right if I use console.log console console.log name of course as you expect it will print out let me remove it will print out James <laughs> right if you look into this object window, I don't know whether I have the time now. If you look very well, you will see you will see this name somewhere there declared to tell you that everything we are doing belong see see it no no it's not this one. Mine is capital N. You will see it. It will be there somewhere. Right? I'm running out of time now. But you will see it somewhere there. It will be on the window. Object. Mm. N. H-I-J-K. 
el m n I can't see it here, but it 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 should be there somewhere. I've done it. I've I've tried before. Maybe. Hold on, please. What are you looking for? I'm looking for this name that 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 I just declared here. I know it should be. It, it is there somewhere, right? Just like, just like um. If I declare a function, mm -hmm. if I declare a function, function taller, right? If I declare this function, right? If I just run it, or call, okay, let me just say console.log taller. Right. If I call Tola here, right, I should have this Tola printed out, as you know, which is uh, this one. But let me, it, it should be, I don't know why I'm not, is, is it because I'm rushing? Okay, now, see the function Tola here. This is the function I just declared now. The name should be there somewhere. I, I don't know why I'm not seeing it. This is the function I just declared now. You can see that is my that is function. Maybe it, 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 it is only on the function function anyway. Let me see. Let me try it again. It's not no, this is not the name. It's capital N. It's capital N. Capital N. Capital N. Capital N. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's just on the function anyway. Okay, let me do something. If I, if I choose, okay, let me clear all this. Let me clear the, let me clear, clear console. If I use the window, window to call it, window.tola, let me run it. I, you can see, I, I can still, I see. I have access to the the content of Tola, although I am using the window to call it. So let me see window dot name. Maybe it is just the function window dot name. So let me print this out. Console dot log. Maybe it's just the function that is available there. Okay. It's just a function. Variables are not there. So because if it is there, I should have the value James here. Right? So it's just a function. So what, what am I trying to say is this? What, what I'm trying to say is that everything here is on this window. And the, this keyword refers to that window. Window object. If this if this if the this keyword is used within a function, it now depends on what is calling that function. If I let me clear this out now, let me clear this out. Let me just quickly round up with this. If I print this here, you will know you, you will notice that it will still refer to what to the window why because the function still belongs to the window object you can see it's still printing out window Be why it's, it's, it's simple it is because window is still the one it, window is the, is still the one calling this function at the back end if i run it you will see window right so the this keyword within a function depends on who is calling the function. What is the time now? Yes, I can hand the class now. So, in on Tuesday we will continue with with, with the this keyword. But remember 
that the this keyword is in function of its context. The context, the context here is the, the, the browser, the window. If I go here, let me see whether it will it can see print out the window inside this um uh, IDE. Let me come here, put it here. Paste. I'm calling Tola here. Tola. Run it. You can see there's no reference. Why? Because this is an IDE. I am not actually inside a browser. I'm not inside a window. So there's no reference. I am it, it is the pro it is the compiler that is now calling this one now. That is why it is it's saying reference issue, right? It, it's telling you that it is a global object. Some one global object is trying to call it, right? But if this is is um is right inside a an object, right? If I declare an object, I call it, let me just quickly call it, and I have um, this object declared like so, and I have um, let me just see a method. Let me call me method. So is I will need to give it um, what's it called a an, 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 an anonymous function. So if I now say object object dot me dot me because now I'm calling this method. Remember method is a function that belongs to an object. So Let's see. You can see it's printing out me, which is the object, this object, right? This object owns me. So you can see it's the, the, this keyword is referring to this object. This object is being printed out because everything here is, is this object here. For, for me just to uh, clear your doubts, let me give it a first name, a property called first name. First name. Let's give uh, James to this. So if I if I run the program again, you will see first name James there. Just to tell you that the, the this keyword here is referring to this object within this context. It's not. Let me copy it to a window environment. Just to before now, right? If the disk is standing alone, it's referring to the window because it is within the window. But now, the disk is no longer referring to the window. You can see it's now referring to this object because this is the object. You can see F name and the method. So let me end it here. We continue in, on Tuesday. Our time is, is passed. Is there any question before I, I end the class? Any question? Talk to me. Any question? No, sir. No question. All right. David, any qu uh, question? No, sir. Favor, any question? Joshua, any question? No. Okay. Thank you. So, see you on Tuesday by God's grace. Thank you.